All right, Joellen, let's talk about lilies. Lilies, All right. yes. So what do we need to know about lilies? They're beautiful, by well, the way. Well, like the iris beautiful. we talked about before, but they, they have gorgeous, mm -hmm. large blooms, mm -hmm. very showy in the landscape. Yes. And in bouquets, and you see them at, uh, in weddings and uh -huh. all in uh, flower arrangements all the time. Yes. Very showy. Uh, one of my favorite flowers because really? of that. I just I just love them. Yeah, I have a lot at home. <coughs> yeah, I just love love the colors. And too. I've I've planted a lot of them and, and enjoyed a lot of them over the years. Let's go. But there, we're going to talk about a few that do well in the mid south area. Okay. Sure. In fact, we have great at uh, this tarp this area and the area around uh, Tennessee and Zone Seven. Uh, one of the greatest areas for lilies to grow in the ground. Okay. So we need to take advantage of that. Man, by all means. The first one that we're going to talk about is the Asiatic lily, yeah. which is the ones you see in these yeah. containers right here. And then you can find them very easily in, in, in uh, garden centers. You know, they come in, in, in containers or they have them in, in bags that you can buy and plant yourself. Mm -hmm. um, very easy to grow, very readily available. And so they come in lots of colors and sizes, mm -hmm. you can see. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Uh, now, if you want to cut them and bring them inside, you see the, the uh, pollen on the ends here? There, that is stains really, really badly. So oh. if you're bringing them inside, if you're putting them in a bouquet, it's nice to just take your fingers and, and get rid of them, just oh. pull them off, okay. and then they won't have that uh, dark staining everywhere on your clothes or anything nice. else. But uh, otherwise, it is pretty on the flower. I like it. Nice. Uh, well, that's the Asiatic lilies and their hybrids. Uh, there's one called, we're going to go from the earliest blooming ones to the latest blooming ones, which is Lilium candidum, which is the Madonna lily. Madonna. It oh. blooms <laughs> in the fall, and it's only white, and it's very, very fragrant. Yeah. So that's a good one to in have the fall, for the, in, in, the in the fall. fall. So okay. see, you have... Lots of lilies that bloom almost all summer long. Oh, that's good. Uh, then there's Lilium formosanum, the uh, Formosa lily. Okay. Uh, it blooms in the summer, uh, usually June, July, and but it can be six to seven feet tall. Wow. Yeah. So got to leave some room for these. Um, then there's the one that you see everywhere. In fact, it is brought over from uh, Asia, and, but it has naturalized in North America, and that's the tiger mm -hmm. lily, Lilium lancifolium. And that's a beautiful one to have in your yard. It will naturalize, it'll do very well. But it has smaller flowers than these, but they usually hang down. Mm. And they're orange with little black spots that. on them. Mm -hmm. So probably people have noticed it in the landscape more, I mean, out, out in nature than they have in their own yards, but do very well. And there are other colors they've developed for that too. Okay. And before you go even further, uh, mm -hmm. naturalize, you use yes. the term. What does yeah. that mean? That means that it has escaped okay. and it has gone and it is, you can see them in ditches and around in, uh, uh, on nature walks okay. in the Good woods. They, they, they like that. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, then there is the Easter lily. Yeah. And it has its own, it's Longiflorum and it's hybrids. Now we see them blooming at Easter uh -huh. and it's a trumpet lily because it has a long stem that looks mm. like a trumpet. And there's lots of those trumpet lilies, but the Easter lily is one yeah. that, you know, you can plant it in your yard and it will grow here and come back and bloom the next year in June. In June. Right. So it's, it, it works really well. Okay. Okay. Um, of course, of all the trumpet uh, lilies, the, the one that is most popular is called Regal. And it has maroon on the back side of it and white on the inside. Oh, wow. And so, and, it's, and of course, it's very tall. It's six, seven feet tall. So, very regal plant. Okay. And then you've got the oriental lilies. The oriental lilies are more sturdy than the Asiatic and the trumpets. And they have done a cross. Of course, the most famous one of these oriental ones is the stargazer. Okay. okay. And you see that at the florist all uh -huh. the time. Okay. Um, it's pink and then it has uh -huh, the white uh -huh. edges on them. Okay. Very popular. Uh, but they've crossed the, the oriental lily with trumpet lilies and they call them Orion pets. Orion pets. Yes, oriental <laughs> and trumpets. So, uh, Orion pets. pets. Yes. Right. Okay. And so they are much sturdier and there's a lot of different colors and, okay. and types of those <laughs> too. Um, but what do they like to do? Where, where do they like to grow? They hmm. like sun. Full sun, right? Like full sun, they oh. like partly shady area. Oh, okay. Um, but 
they like well-drained soil and, and, uh. and they do not like wet soil. So if you're having problems with them for diseases or insects or anything, it may be the environment that you have them in. Give them room, don't bunch them up close together. Give them some space so the air can move between them. Okay. Because you don't want the botrytis, the leaf uh. disease that gets on them. Because uh, the, the, if you have that, you can preventively spray that the next year with a fungicide. Okay. But you know, environment is probably the best key to be having success with the lilies. Okay. Is give them enough space, don't crowd them. Space, well-drained soil. And well-drained soils. Yes, now, and when you buy them like this, just remember that lilies are a bulb, but they don't have the papery covering on them like mm. a, a normal bulb would. So that means the outside dries out very fast, and mm. you don't want that to dry out because that's part of the bulb that is going to grow. Okay. So when you get these, plant them as soon as you get them and try to keep them moist. Okay. And they do reproduce by, you know, the bulbs just keep getting more and more on each side, but sometimes they have little spots on the end called imbricate bulbs uh, that, that come on the leaves, and you can take those off and they'll reproduce by that oh, so they'll all too. Yeah, okay. they're, they're very that. interesting. Um, there is one insect problem that they have, and that's the red lily beetle. Mm -hmm. Now, the red, I have never seen that here on my lilies, but yeah, wow. apparently it lives its entire life cycle on a lily. So you're, you're gonna see eggs, or you're gonna see the bug itself, or you're gonna see its nymph stages, but they say the best way to control it is with neem oil on the nymph stage. Nymph stage, okay. Yeah, and, and you can use insecticides too, but it's pretty easy to control with neem oil if you want to, if you see them, but okay. you just, just inspect But often. you haven't seen. I've never I, I, seen them here. Okay. So, but, but they say they're mind. a problem. But I, I've never seen them. Okay. In fact, the only trouble that I keep having, which is why I bought me some more, is that the voles ah. like to eat the bulbs. Okay. So now that I've got these new, new lilies that I want to plant uh -huh. in my yard, I am thinking of getting a wire cage and planting them in a wire yeah, cage to keep the voles. Yes, with the I'm going right. to get a, make a wire cage to plant them in so okay. that the voles can't get to uh -huh. them. Smart, smart. Mm -hmm. yeah, didn't realize I had that problem with voles. I need to pay a little bit more attention to mine. All right. <laughs> okay. But I, I do like the lilies, though, because they're, 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 they're easy. They're not difficult. They're no. Uh -uh. Oh. I've never had any problems with them. I've just enjoyed them. Good deal. Well, we appreciate that, Joel. Uh -huh. Buy more lilies, folks. Buy more lilies. Right, you enjoy they're that. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Thank you again. Good stuff. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.